What do I have to do to help my father? What do I have to become? Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. Find a ship. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We need to find a ship. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the scene. We've got to find her. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out. Empress Emily Caldwin. I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a man in a strange mask. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But someone yanked the rug from under your feet. You've lost your throne and your father. And I promise, Delilah won't just give them back. So, what are you prepared to do about it? Your Imperial Majesty? And are you clever enough to do it without spilling a river of blood? I asked Corvo those questions 15 years ago. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored, with my lessons. I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is stranger than I ever imagined. Everything I know has been turned on its head, but I'm dealing with it the best I can. When you look at the great jeweled map at Dunwall Tower, Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. A fat, red ruby. That's how I always thought of it. Up close, the city smells like the ocean and strange spices. Up close, it's a tangled story of blood and ambition. The birthplace of my father. Megan Foster is a stranger, but there's something that makes me want to trust her, despite her guarded disposition. She got me out of Dunwall, and I need answers. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer using the crown killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back. When I was 10 years old, bored with my Now I'm realizing that the world is more off kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like I'm not gonna get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Come on, 
no, that was supposed to go to us. What are we supposed to do now? We're out of money. Give him a chance to tell his side of it. It wasn't his fault, Maya. I'm sorry, every now and then one of those Grand Guard bastards pulls a stunt like that. It's getting worse. But I might be able to help you out. We're listening. There's a stack of goods that no one's claimed in one of the holding warehouses. I happen to know that no one's gonna claim it ever, because it was dropped from a boat, loading up for freight board. It's good stuff. Spices and dried fish. Maybe worth more than what you lost. That's a good deal, Maya. Oh, thank you, Amos. All right. Still not fair than just taking what was ours, but we appreciate what you're offering. If it's like you say, and we can find buyers, then it'll get us through the next month. Good, good. Look, I wish I could have stopped him. Just meet me here again tomorrow, okay? Same time. We'll be here. You know that was supposed to go to us. What are we supposed to do now? We're out of money. Look at it. He's in on it. What was your cut, Ramus? Gutless merchants are all the same. Hands out, begging and whining. Tell the truth for once, you lying coward. What did you make on this, Ramus? Say one more word, Maya. I'm finished with this guy. Let's rush him. Ramus, you were. What sack of shit. Turned on your own people. That's it. You pushed me. This is your fault. The body here? Huh? What? Someone! Protect me! Evan? No one is looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. I'm being hunted by half the people in the Empire. Part of me is excited about what happens if they find me. Karnaka was a lovely city once, before the Duke began choking the life out of the place, before the Crown Killer started painting the laws red. Now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. I've seen cities go bad before. Smelled the rot. So have you. Fifteen years ago in Dunwall. Did you miss it? That year that made you who you are? Don't deny it. Rats in the cradle, black smoke rising from burning bodies, an entire city crying out. Now it's happening again. Welcome back. Welcome home. People like you and the Crown Killer are part of places like this. Some take comfort from the strictures. Perhaps we need an eighth stricture. Defy your empress and be burned alive.
if only truth and justice could really be weighed on scales. How many lives to balance against my mother's? A hundred? A thousand? I have to tell myself that fixing all this will bring back prosperity. Feel free to have a look around. Blood or coin, everyone is going to pay me their due. The blood flies have flourished with all the Duke's executions. If I could, I'd nest blood flies in the hearts of everyone who opposes me. The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia. Chief Alchemist. Once it was a solarium for recuperating aristocrats. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killer's taking lives in my name and has to be stopped. It's my hope that Hypatia can explain. They say she's brilliant and altruistic. Well respected across Circonos. The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, Chief Alchemist. Once it was a solarium for pampered aristocrats recuperating from their imagined ills. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The Crown Killers taking lives in my name, which is about to end. They say Dr. Hypatia's brilliant, but if she's involved with the murders, she's going to pay. A victim of the Crown Killer, no doubt. One of the Crown Killer's playthings. Reminds me of natural philosophy lessons from Anton and Piero. I'd like to whip up something to burn out Delilah's tongue and throat. Did you find Sokolov? No, but Hypatia was the crown killer. What? I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. You didn't find Sokolov. No, but I killed Hypatia. You what? She was the crown killer. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her. She wasn't even aware of it. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. He transformed our city with his inventions. Electricity for the factories and carriages racing along above the streets. As I grew up, his buzzing and glowing devices kept me safe. His stories always made me giggle, and his outrageous conversation shocked aristocrats and overseers alike. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. A mad inventor who has given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. 
His inventions transformed the city. I watched from the tower as they changed the capital into a prison, and listened as he drank and laughed, telling my mother time and again how brilliant he was. After her death, Sokolov's inventions helped a tyrant take control of the Empire. Now, all these years later, Kirin Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. The mad inventor who's given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Maybe a little more. Damn, the light is amazing, but I'm going sunblind. The way the ocean shimmers. Looks like there's a weird shadow. Huh, anyway, 